Paul Sandel and CJ 178, formerly 133, Arapahoe County. This is because of the reapportionment, redistricting, everything got changed around. Some of this will be a little redundant. Uh, we used to have House District 37, uh, and our representative was Spencer Swan. We are now House District 38, and Kathleen Conti is our representative. So that's one of the major changes. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a number of elections. We're going to elect uh, uh, precinct leaders or assistant precinct leaders. Uh, we're going to... Hi. Hi. Unless you're if I'm in the right precinct. Okay. Uh, this is 178. Okay. I live over by uh, Euclid and Broadway. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is why don't you just take a seat because we'll start it and it, it starts directly at 7 and we'll, okay. we'll, we'll work on that here and here. Okay. So we're going to elect uh, precinct leaders. Uh, we've also got uh, four or five state assembly seats that have to go, that have to be elected for. Now, if you run for an assembly seat, uh, it costs money except for the 18th uh, Judicial District. Okay? Uh, if you're going to do that, you have to pay for it here tonight. There's no billing or anything like that, and I have the pricing at the other end, and I'll, I'll announce it uh, as we move forward in the presentation. To move on to the state assembly, you have to start at the county assembly, and from the county You've got judicial and congressional, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So really, if you run the gamut, you'll get to vote five times before everything comes out in June. So that gives you a good chance to get involved in the process. Uh, we're also going to hold a presidential preference poll for which you have these wonderful little scorecards. Now, tonight, according to the bylaws, we have to have a counter and two tellers. So what I would like is for two people to volunteer to be tellers. And a teller basically checks the other person to make sure that the tallies are right, and then they give that to the counter, and then I record it. Okay? Would anybody like to volunteer to be a teller tonight? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> who, who else would like to help her? How about you? <laughs> okay, so we have a couple of tellers tonight. So you're going to witness and count all the votes and then report to me and then I'll double check it and we'll answer it. Okay? Welcome to the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is this to be done by for both precincts? What we will do is, what we do here in this precinct is for this precinct and then everything that I do has to be reported and this goes to the district captain tonight. And our district captain, by the way, if you want to write this down, her name is Rita Island. <laughs> and Rita, Rita Island's telephone number are 303-798-3836. And her cell number is 303-882-3282. This will work. My name Passion. You're in one seventy eight. That's your precinct. Now, if anybody would like to be more involved at any type of a level or just be kept informed of what's going on, I am on Facebook under my own name. So if you send me a friend request, I will hook you up and you will be able to see virtually anything that's going on in Colorado because it all runs through my web, my Facebook page. I go to about 12 to 20 events a month all over the state. So I'm pretty active and usually can sniff out what's going on. If you have a question on anything, just send me a note on Facebook, private or public. Okay? All right. So the first thing we're going to do tonight is we're going to vote for a precinct leader or a co-precinct leader. Okay. I am the current precinct leader. We need two. I've been doing this alone for a very long time. I could really use some help. It's not that hard 
but it just takes some time in an election year to walk a precinct, pass out literature, and be available for people in your area. Okay? Do we have anybody that would like to volunteer for a precinct leader for 178? Please don't turn me over. Anyone? Okay. <coughs> Assuming there's no other nominations, then I place myself in nomination. If there is uh, no objection, I will take that by acclamation. Any objections? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what we are going to do at this point is I'm going to pass out these cards. This is going to be the presidential preference poll. It is a non-binding poll. It is not being recorded. It's being recorded to the point where we are reporting to district captains. District captains report to county. County reports to state. All that does is just get a feeler out there for where we are. Everything will actually gel together in June at State Assembly, and then there'll be a ballot. Okay? So I'm going to pass these out. In fact, what I'm going to have happen is I'm going to give half to you and half to you. And if you could pass these out, because you're both tellers. Yes, and I have extra pens and such up here. Thank you. Please feel free. Okay. I'm the roving flag. You've you already got our Frenches of Allegiance. We, Did you get a flag? I left mine at home, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, let me impale you, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Excuse me. No, no problem. problem. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what you have in front of you is a card. Uh, you can write in somebody that, if you wish. What you need to do is to circle your preference for who you wish. And then when your card is filled out, uh, just raise your hand, and then the tellers will come by and pick those up. Okay? <laughs> 